All right, guys, it's Copper Cutlass with um, a not so exciting update. So, you know, I came out here today to kind of work on the car because uh, I intended to do some things and then uh, drive it in the morning and um, see how those things shook out. I got a hotter spark plug because based off the spark plug reading, it was uh, too cold. And then I was also going to jet up. Um, the spark plug reading that uh, I looked at in the in the porcelain area, the spark plug, it was like dead lean. And I've never had a spark plug ever like not be at least tan. And we had some driving on it and it was you know, enough driving to, to see it. It was a brand new spark plug and we drove it at least a couple of miles to get a reading on it. And it's, it's, it's off. So this, this engine wants a lot more fuel. Um, this carburetor worked well on the J headed engine with a dual plane where the air supply demands are probably different. Uh, similar cam, similar things, but it's also based off of, uh, vacuum signal there's a lot of factors going on and this thing uh, it needs it needs it needs more jet not i don't think it needs a whole lot of jet i think if we were to go up like uh i'm gonna go up four jet sizes from the get-go and go from there and see how it reacts and if that's good then we would be good for the track and this is where things are going to dramatically change so the last time that I took the car out to mess with it on the street, it developed a really bad grinding noise in the rear, which we have heard this before. If you guys remember, when I put this 10 bolt that I got from JJ, we had an issue with the backing plate grinding on the drum. And um, well, we ended up putting a, a wheel spacer in here a thin wheel spacer uh, to push the ba the drum forward and away from the backing plate. But another problem that we were having was the backing plate was shifting because um, when JJ uh, had this rear end done, he had four nine um, big ends put for the sealed bearings in the you know in here and. Um, he had to cut the backing plate to make it all work or whatever, whatever the case was. Um, they were oblonged and it, they moved a little bit on me. So I ended up welding washers, like thick washers, welding them onto the backing plate so that things wouldn't move. And uh, those held up. That was not my problem. What my problem is, and I'll show you guys, it's this big fucking crack in the frame. Sorry to move on you a lot, but it goes all the way into the other side and it's got quite the buckle. I measured the frame. We have an eighth inch diamond, um, which mm, an eighth inch diamond is not a lot. It's only like a little over three millimeters which is technically within spec. So the frame hasn't shifted really. The, the, I didn't have anybody to help me, but what I actually need to measure is the rear end to you know do a cross measurement of the rear end at one solid point to one solid point on this corner and vice versa on the other corner to this corner. But I think... I need a frame and I talked about caging this car, but after all the work and everything, I'm like at a crossroads. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch the frame up and maybe kill some metal and some time and some welding wire and at least so we can get it to the track. But for now, I cannot drive the car. I can't. That, that thing is literally almost ready to rip through. And if that thing rips through, I am fucked because the rear end moved over enough to, um, or it moves enough under load to rub on the drive shaft safety loop, which it never 
did. But we keep in mind, we have been beating the shit out of this car on the street. Like, full wide open throttle pulls and everything. Um, and I guess just the, the shock loads have finally gotten to it. I mean, every time I take it out and I'm messing with it, I'm, I'm, I'm beating on this thing. And I'm getting on it. And I'm doing, like, full pulls. And just, you know, it's, you know... The rear end naturally will pull forward, and when it does that, it's shoving the drive shaft towards the passenger side rear, and there's a witness mark. I'll post all the pictures after I'm done talking, but yeah, um, that kind of sucks. You know, I, I, I came in here to put the engine diaper in and do a couple of things and change the jets and the carburetor, which I, I probably should still do. Uh, but at this point, it's like I can't do anything unless I do something with that frame. And I guess I have to probably see if I can take it into work, get it up on the frame machine, and uh, at least do my measurement on the rear end, pull it into place, and weld it for now. Um, ultimately, I would like to get a new shell and a frame. Uh, I did this car back when I was 17. And there's a couple things going on in the body that really... You know, I don't want to talk about it because I'm not proud of it, but the older you get, the more experience you gain, the more you do things a little bit differently. And the car looks great on the outside. As far as everything, when I repainted the car uh, six or seven years ago, um, the doors were done right, the fenders were done right. You know, I patched up the A pillars on the window right, but the floor pans are questionable. You know, we did do some frame repairs back in 2014, which is the year I met my wife. Um, we did some patchwork to the, the frame, and we added new bushings. And even then, that work is a little questionable. Um, I would ultimately like to start with a, a new shell and a, and a frame. But I think at, at most, I need a frame so I can put a good cage in this car. So uh, at least you know, protect myself from everything around me. The body isn't like falling apart, but there's just work that I'm not, you know, too keen or proud of that really it, it needs, the car does look good and it's been pretty sound, but um, I think we need a, a good frame that we can work with and that's what we're going to go with. So, so just to put the icing on the cake of the year that we have had and we have been moving in the right direction on the tune with the car, um, it just is kind of like a kick in the dick, but it's, you know, we still got some time left. Um, you know, we're, we're only in the middle of September. Um, if I can get this car out to the track this year, that would be great. So I got, I got to figure things out and, uh, maybe I'll just finally, you know, just, just get it out to the track and tune it at the track and see what happens. Um, uh, at this point, I have a choice to make. I mean, they're going to fix it and take it to the track or I'm just done for the year altogether and next year we'll just be racing this because putting a new frame and doing a cage and everything is going to be a full, like a year of serious work and making this all work. Uh, not to mention the fuckery. I've had this car apart and off the frame and it is, it is, it's a fucking mess. So we'll let you guys go. Share, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Scott Cutlass. I'll put those pictures on at the end so you guys can check it out.